this video, I'll walk you through using the ODBC administrator via the PowerBuilder IDE to configure an ODBC profile to connect to a HANA database. Then I'll walk you through setting up a database profile in the PowerBuilder IDE that uses the ODBC profile and will connect the IDE to the HANA database. We'll start with Tools, Database Profile, and in the ODB section, we'll expand Utilities, and we'll go to the ODBC Administrator. Double-click it. Comes up. I'll head on over to System DSN. I'm on a 32-bit system, and now I'm going to add a new profile. And I'll choose my HANA ODBC driver, and I'll finish. Now I need to name the data source. So I've gone ahead and named this one HANA PB Developer, and I've given a description that will identify what it's all about. And I've entered in my Elastic IP address, colon, my port number. And now I'll connect, and I'm prompted for my user ID and my password. And for now, since we're starting up a new database and we haven't configured any special security of users yet, I'll just go right in as system. So I've gone ahead and I've entered in my system username and my system password, and I'll click OK. And sure enough, my connection was successful. I'll click OK now, and the profile has been connected. And now I should see that one. And there it is, my HANA PB developer. I'll click OK now, and I'll close the dialog. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new PowerBuilder ODBC profile that I'll use to connect the PowerBuilder IDE using the ODBC profile that I've established on my system. So I'll click the ODB section, select New, name the profile. The names need not match. This is my PowerBuilder string for identification purposes. I'll choose the data source. And now I'll type in the user ID that I want to use. And again, for now, I'm just temporarily going into system for the purpose of this demonstration. I'll head over to the options page. I don't want to be secondarily prompted, so I'll go to SQL driver no prompt. Head on over to the syntax tab. And instead of using the default, I'll explicitly ask to enclose table and column names and quotes so that if I have mixed case or lowercase names, PowerBuilder will function correctly. And for now, temporarily, because I don't really want to put these catalog tables in this particular place, I'll specify that the catalog table owner will be system just for today. In a real system, system is not used for very much. It's a very secure identity. I'll click Apply, and to test that things are working, I'll head on over to the Preview tab, and there I can see the uh, transaction object settings that I would need to put into a runtime application, and I'll test my connection. Bing! Connection was successful. I'll click OK to save my changes, and now I'll come on over here to my ODBC section, and I'll right-click on my PB HANA developer, and I'll connect and the IDE is now connected. And now what I can do is I can head on over to the Database Painter. I'll just use my shortcut keys, Shift F7, and there's my connection. And I can expand and see my tables. And sure enough, there they are, all the tables. And what I'll do is I'll go down to the Demo Data Schema, and I'll just choose a table from there just to show you the things that are working. I'll choose the Industry Table, which is not too big, and I'll do an Edit Data Grid. And sure enough, there's the data. So my PowerBuilder connection has been established and is successfully functioning. This concludes this demonstration.